How expensive is Budapest? Last year we made a video about this topic, but since then the world went through a lot. A global inflation which hit Hungary even harder. So today we'll try to answer the question, how expensive is Budapest now in 2024? If you come here for a visit as a tourist or you want to live here in Hungary, you'll surely find some valuable answers in this video because we will be answering questions like how expensive is the public transport? How expensive is food and drinks? Or what it would cost for you if you want to live here? Let's dive into these topics. Now one thing to note right off the bat is that Hungary uses the forint, not the euro. And the relationship between the two has been a roller coaster ride, so to speak. So in this video, you will be seeing euro price tags, but those numbers may change depending on how the euro and the forint is doing against each other. And believe me, the forint never really does well. So that's really good for you guys who are coming from Western Europe. Not so good for us who live here in Hungary. But anyways, let's get going. So let's talk about transportation. When you come to Budapest, chances are you will land here with a plane and then you'll need to find a way how to get here to the city center from the airport and it's not gonna be with this one. Prices have increased a bit when it comes to transportation. For example, the simplest service you can take is the special service bus 100D that takes you right to the city center. But since it's a special service, it needs a special ticket that costs around five and a half euros. Another way is to take a taxi, and the cost for that will vary depending on different factors. The taxi pricing is regulated in Budapest. There's a base price, a price per distance, and a price per minute. In the end, the price may range somewhere between 30 to 38 euros. For larger groups, perhaps the miniboot shuttle service may be a better value. But that again varies on a whole lot of factors too, including the number of people traveling. So perhaps, check their website to get a more accurate price. Then we also have the regular public transport, which can also take you to the city center with a transfer and a longer travel time. For this, and generally for traveling within Budapest, you can consider single tickets that cost around one euro, or get one of the many passes, like the one for 24 hours, 72 hours, or if you stay longer than three days, then even the 15 day pass may be worth it for you. By the way, we actually have a full video about the public transport in Budapest, so if you want to know more, then perhaps watch that after this one. Now that we covered the topic of getting around, let's talk about food, because nobody wants to go out exploring on an empty stomach, so let's cover the topic of breakfast and brunches. And yes, this is my morning voice. Many restaurants and cafes offer extensive brunch selections on their menus, and if you want to get a coffee and a breakfast dish, you will be paying somewhere between 10 to 18 euros. But one thing I always recommend in our videos is to go to a butcher's or go to a market, and surely you'll be able to buy a nice Hungarian grilled sausage with mustard, bread, and perhaps some pickled vegetables. It's cheaper, and one of my favorites to grab when I am in the town early. However, when it comes to lunches and dinners in restaurants, the prices compared to our previous video have indeed gone up. You can still have a nice restaurant experience where you have an appetizer, a main dish, a dessert and a drink like a beer or a wine and pay somewhere around 25 euros. But if you go to the popular restaurants or ones that are closer to the attractions and the city center, you can pay in the end somewhere around 35 to 45 euros. Now, if you are like me who can't eat that much and usually enjoys a drink, a main dish and splits a dessert with a partner, you'll be paying around 20 to 25 euros per person. But what about fast foods? Now, usually I advise against fast food because when you travel, you should definitely give a try to the local dishes, the local cuisine. However, sometimes you just crave a good burger or a good pizza, and there's nothing wrong with that. These are also considered a cheaper alternative compared to eating out in a restaurant. So what about fast food prices in Hungary? Well, burger menus or pizza in a fast food pizza joint can range somewhere between six and 13 euros. 
However, if you're looking to try some local Hungarian fast food, then we can definitely recommend for you to try the langos. This deep fried flatbread can be eaten on its own or with various toppings and the price right now is roughly 5 to 8 euros. But if you go crazier with the toppings, the price can go way beyond that. So I would suggest keeping it simple with sour cream and cheese, but enjoy it how you want it. Now in case you like sweet things, then a chimney cake is the way to go. These cost around 5 euros or less if you get them at small booths at train stations or subway stations. They can get even more expensive though if you buy ones that are filled with ice cream, but just don't do that. These are absolutely not worth the price. Now when it comes to attractions, visiting places like the Matthias Church or the St. Stephen's Basilica may cost around 6 to 7 euros, but if you want to go all the way up to their towers, the prices may go up to 15 euros. In general, museums around the city or the Budapest Zoo or the famous parliament building may have an admission fee somewhere between 10 to 15 euros. Now, when it comes to the parliament building, that price is only applicable for citizens from a country that's within the European economic area. Anyone who's not a citizen of such a country will have to pay twice as much for an admission fee, which is unfortunate and a really stupid thing in my opinion. One of the most popular activities among visitors of Budapest is a river cruise along the Danube River. The simple sightseeing boat rides didn't increase much in price, they are still around 15 to 25 euros depending on the journey's length and if it's daytime or nighttime. However, there has been a significant price increase when it comes to nighttime cruises with a multi-course dinner and live music or folk shows. These romantic rides will cost anything between 60 euro up to 100 or even more depending on how lavish you wish it to be. Another popular attraction here in Budapest is a thermal bath. It is a really relaxing experience after all the walking you have done in the city. Now obviously this is not a proper thermal bath, but the most popular ones like Széchenyi, Gellért and Rudas offer some amazing and memorable experiences thanks to their settings besides the nice hot thermal waters they have. The admission fees will depend on if it's a weekday or a weekend. Your tickets may cost somewhere between 24 to 34 euros. There are some cheaper alternatives like Valley Bay, Lukács or Dondar, or even the Palatinus Beach Buffs, where you also have a few thermal water pools. Prices here range somewhere between 12 to 15 euros. Now to talk about hotel prices is a little bit more difficult because the prices will heavily depend on where the hotel is located, what's the season, how many people are there, is there breakfast included and so on and so on. We usually check booking.com if we want to compare prices. So while we cannot talk about the prices of hotels here in Budapest, perhaps you can use that website to get an idea of the prices you may encounter when you come here to the city. Anyways, if you come to Budapest, surely you need some clothes to wear and if you want to support this channel, then we have some lovely t-shirt designs and pullover designs that you can also purchase and with that, support the channel. But if you just want to support us in a simple way, giving a like and leaving a comment down below is also something we are really thankful for. Nevertheless, let's continue this video. Now during the day you may run out of energy as you explore the city of Budapest and that is the perfect time to grab a nice coffee. Going to a coffee shop here in Budapest will likely cost around one and a half euros if you're drinking a espresso, but the price can go all the way up to about four and a half euros if you're drinking something like a cappuccino or a latte macchiato. And in case you wish to have a cake along with your drink, then you'll be spending around two and a half to five euros per slice. Hm. Two good friends go well together. And after a long day walking in the city, maybe you want to sit back, relax, chill and discuss all the nice experiences you had during the day 
and drink a nice beer, a wine or a cocktail maybe. And if you do so, we will have the prices somewhere here right next to me. But in all honesty, these prices are more applicable to the city center. And me as a local, I'd rather go to a bar that's more closer to where I live and where the prices are a little bit more cheaper. But then what about the cost of living in Hungary? Let's see about those. Now obviously, we don't go to restaurants all the time for breakfast, lunch or dinner. We go to our fridge. And when that fridge is empty, then we go to the convenience stores. Let's go! So, we are back. Let's unpack. Voila! This here is about 50 euros worth of items that we have purchased in the convenience store. And for us, this is like an average spend on a weekly haul when we go out to the stores. Now, obviously for you, this might be different. It depends on what kind of food you make, what ingredients you need, and what are your personal preferences. This here is usually enough for us for a week. Some of these items we will consume in the next few days. Some of them will last longer, like one of the most expensive items the olive oil. We're obviously not gonna buy that next week, but perhaps instead of that we will buy something else like cleaning material. But what do you guys think? Is this too expensive or is this cheap? How much do you spend when you go out to the grocery store on a week? Let us know in the comments below. And now I guess we will make some lunch for ourselves. Now, of course, we can't cook every day for ourselves, but what we can do is to go to a place called the Kifuzde, or eating houses, where you can get some warm dishes that will cost approximately 5 to 8 euros. Now, these dishes won't be as spectacular as something you can get in a restaurant, but they will still be tasty and delicious for us, and of course, cheaper. But what about having a roof above your head? Well, the rent prices here in Budapest will heavily depend on the size of the flat and the location of it. But an average sized flat with one bedroom will roughly cost around 500 euros per month. And of course, you may find some that are cheaper than this. However, the limit is basically the starry sky, as we Hungarians like to say it. So there will be some which are even more expensive than that. Now it's important to note that the landlords will ask for a deposit, which is about two to three months worth of the monthly rent's price. <laughs> this is so cute. But what about the utility costs? Well, according to the available statistics, that would cost somewhere around 75 to 130 euros per month for an average household when we talk about water, heating and electricity. But this will heavily depend on how modern the building is and your own personal preferences. Hmm. Now besides this, there may be a common cost for the residential community because someone has to maintain the building and clean it. This would be somewhere between 12 to even 50 euros per month. So, what did we learn today? How expensive is Budapest today in 2024? Well, even if the global inflation hit Hungary even harder than most countries, I feel that what we said in our previous video from last year, that about 100 euro per person per day is sufficient to have a great time, is still applicable. However, if you want, you can still have a cheaper experience and enjoy Budapest to the fullest, but you can spend even much, much more than that and have a fully adventure-packed trip here in the city. However, it's important to note that living in Hungary is not easy. The prices we talked about today may seem cheap for Western Europeans, but for us living in Hungary, these are actually expensive. The wages are lower, the living standards are also far behind the Western European standards. So if you do come here to Budapest, I hope you will have an excellent time, but please note that if you see some fellow Hungarians and locals who are a bit more pessimistic or a bit more negative, that's not against you. That's because living here for them is definitely harder. However, I hope that in the future this will change, our economy will recover and our fellow Hungarians will also have a nice time living here in this wonderful country. 
Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys found this video useful and interesting. And if you don't want to miss our future videos, definitely make sure to subscribe to the channel. Hope to see you guys in those future videos. Bye!